Let's look at question 5 from the uh, National 5 2014 physics paper. Uh, it says the pressure of a fixed mass of gas is um, 6 times 10 to the 5 pascals. The temperature of the gas is 27 um, degrees Celsius and the volume is 2.5 cubic meters. And then it says the temperature is increased to 54 centimeters. Um, in fact, what I'll just do there is I will change the color of my highlighter. Um, I think because just to highlight the change of the gas, the uh, temperature is now 54 cubic centimeters and the volume has increased to 5 um, cubic meters. Um, so what's the pressure of the new gas? And we've got a list of values there. Well, we, we know that this is a, a question um, relating to the gas law and the formula PV over T is a constant. Um, we can write that in another way. P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2. And so it's a matter of plugging all of these numbers in to get the new pressure, which in this case is P2. Um, so that's what we're going to try and do. And we'll enter the numbers in and uh, we'll see how we get on. So I'm just going to clear this now and we can start again because I'm running out of room. Um, so we'll write up the formula again up here. P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2. So let's plug in the numbers. The initial pressure of the gas is 6 times 10 to the 5. So that's 6 times 10 to the 5 times the initial volume, which is 2.5. Um, over the initial temperature. Now the initial temperature is 27 degrees. However, we have to include our temperatures in Kelvin. So um, what we need to do is add 273 to that number because um, 0 degrees Celsius is 273 Kelvin. So 27 degrees Celsius is 273 plus 27. So I'll just put that in brackets there. That is a plus, by the way, not a um, times. Maybe just to clear, clear that up, we'll just rub that out and make sure you can see that it is, in fact, plus. And then that's equal to the new pressure, which is P2, um, and that's times the new volume, which is 5, over the new temperature, which is 54, plus 273. Kelvin. So effectively what happens is the volume has doubled and the temperature, it may look like it's doubled, but it hasn't doubled at all uh, because we're dealing with a Kelvin scale of temperature. So it's a matter of now plugging all of those numbers into the calculator and uh, seeing how we get on. Okay, so I've brought up my calculator here and I'm going to try and enter these numbers and uh, see how we get on. So we've got 6 times 10 to the power of 5, so that's this button, EXP5. And multiplied by 2.5. I'll just press equals at this point. I'm going to divide that by this number. Well, 27 plus 273 is 300. So divide it by 300 equals that. And then we need to get this on its own. So we need to bring this up to the other side. So we multiply the number we've got by all of this. So we'll multiply it by brackets. 54 plus 273. Uh, I could do that in my head, I suppose, but. Uh, it's too late in the evening and that gives us that number and then if we divide that by 5 I bring this down to the other side and um, so divide by 5 we should get our answer and it's 327000 or 327,000 or 3.27 times 10 to the 5 which is 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 5 so it looks like our answer is um, this one here, which is B3.3 times 10 to the 5. So a relatively straightforward question to do, as long as you remember to do this bit here, add in your um, uh, 273 uh, to turn the temperature from degrees Celsius to Kelvins, and then do your rearrangement correctly.